Hello lovelies, it's Dr. Gormal. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, this is where I talk about beauty tech and give you my honest non-sponsored reviews on does it work, doesn't it work? Yeah, so apologies for the delay in getting this video up. There's a lot that's been going on. So today I'm going to talk about why am I delayed in the video? Sorry, 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 I'm so sorry. Like I mentioned to you last time, I'd talk about the portability of the laser, whether you can use it and travel with it. Starting to discuss photobiomodulation. Oh yes, it's getting exciting. Why is this video delayed? Whew. Um, I don't know if you remember. So we headed up to Scotland. Uh, it was beautiful. I highly recommend if you're ever in England, and you've got a few days spare, head up to Scotland because it is stunning. Uh, we were about 50 minutes from Balmoral Castle where the Queen summers. Apparently Prince Andrew was hanging out there. Anyway, um, check out <laughs> me using the laser there. We're in Scotland and it's beautiful. Look at it. We've been in the car for almost nine hours and we're still not there yet. Portability, not a problem. Bought it with me. Ah, I think I've been stung by nettles. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Ow, 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 ow. I did look a little bit like a crazy lady on the side of a road, just with her laser. And my kids are also, like, mommy, what are you doing? I don't use my laser in front of them. So they're just thinking like, mommy, you are very odd or more, more strange than usual. Also, my, my husband had coronavirus. So that was a barrel of laughs, not. I'm grateful he is well. He didn't need any significant support um we didn't need to call the doctor so i'm grateful that he has got through um but that did involve him isolating in, in england if someone has coronavirus you have to isolate for 10 days so he pretty much just stayed upstairs and i was delivering food at his front door like room service but anyway the post covid lethargy is no joke i've had patients who are almost a year post covid and they're still struggling with their lethargy their brain fog um, but he's picked up now so he's good so i'm grateful for that i also had my last day at work and although i made a conscious decision to leave it was still extremely sad and it really threw me off i had a a big big reaction it was actually a grief reaction i was angry i was frustrated i was depressed like maybe if this happened i could have stayed or maybe that happened i could have stayed but anyway i cried for two days i'm good now like not constantly for the two days just on and off i mean my team is amazing and i'm going to miss them so much and i can't wait to see them again um so that's happened so i am free not quite a lady of leisure because I don't know how to slow down. Like I literally don't know how to stop. So yeah, Scotland, COVID and I had my last day at work. So apologies guys. I have been using the laser and a few comments from people that are close to me and you know, know my face well. My husband said that my skin tone is more uniform and my mum I went to go go hang out with my mum and dad as soon as I sort of oh, I had my last day at work went to go see them and my mum said your skin looks better she and I, I wasn't wearing any makeup and so obviously she knows my face it's my mum and she just said your face looks better and but she couldn't really say what it was about my face that looked better again I continue to see the hyperpigmentation improving. I can continue to see subtle changes, subtle and slow changes. 
Um, I have also started looking into photobiomodulation. Okay, lovelies. So I'm going to be going through the various articles that Lime and Life have sent me regarding the science, the research, and the mechanism of how there's two thousand pounds. Did I say two thousand pounds? Yes, I said two thousand pounds. Yes, I know, I know. But that's why we're all here. That's why we're all going to look into this in so much detail because. I want to know, and I know that you guys want to know. So they've sent me quite a few articles, and I'm going to go and see, because I think it's quite important to know who, who wrote the article, don't you think? So the first one I want to go through is an article that was published in the Journal of Selected Topics in Quantum Electronics. This journal releases peer-reviewed scientific articles what that means is that one expert in a particular field, in this case, it's quantum optics, assesses the work of others within this field, the research they've done, the evidence that they've come up with, their theories. So it's one expert looking at the work of other experts within the same field, hence the term peer review. I think it's important at this point to touch on quantum optics. This is a particular area of physics which deals with how light interacts with atoms and molecules. And this is all going to be very important and relevant later on. So manuscripts are published that report original theoretical and or experimental research results that advance the scientific and technological base of quantum electronic devices, systems or applications. In order to be suitable for publication in this journal, the research must have a potential impact on advancing of quantum electronic devices. Potential authors have the responsibility of pointing out this potential impact. The manuscripts must be concerned with systems that perform a function previously unavailable or that outperform previous established systems that did not use quantum electro electronic components. Tutorial and review papers are via invitation only. That's pretty cool. I'm uh, enjoying all of that. So this is getting down to the nitty gritty. We are talking on a quantum level, guys. And this isn't no BS journal. You are only, you have, it's invitation only. Oh, can you imagine? I'm not gonna be invited to write anything for these guys but we can still admire those genius people who have spent all that time and effort into researching all the effects of photobiomodulation, AKA low level light therapy. So that's great. So that's the, res that's the source of this information. So it's not Lima Life. It's not a, you know, a company that's funding this particular article. So this, this one, you know, is gonna be legit. Legit, legit. And it's written by two sick dudes. Proposed mechanism of photobiomodulation or low level light therapy by Lucas Fritas de Fritas. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And Michael Hamblin. So, one of the chaps, the younger chaps who has contributed to this article, working with Michael Hamblin, has graduated from the University of Londrina in Brazil in 2009. He's got a PhD in bioengineering from the University of Sao Paulo. Part of the PhD research that he performed was under the supervision of Dr. Michael Hamlin uh, from the Wellman Center of Photomedicine, Harvard Medical School. He's got some publications in the biomedical field, especially on light interaction with microorganisms with the human body, cancer therapies, diagnostics, and oxidative stress. Michael Hamlin, is a chap who studies at Trent University, Nottingham. I'm from Nottingham, so proud moment there. And he's the principal investigator at Wellman Centre for Photomedicine at Ma Massachusetts General Hospital and associate professor of dermatology at Harvard Medical School. He's also a member of the affiliated faculty of Harvard MIT Division of Health Science and Technology. He was trained as a synthetic organic chemist. 
His research interests include photodynamic therapies for infections, cancer, stimulation of the immune system, and in low level light therapy for wound healing, arthritis, traumatic brain injury, neurodegeneration disease, and psychiatric disorders. His research programs are supported by various organizations. He's published more than 320 peer review articles over 150 conference proceedings. Basically, this guy is an expert. Yeah, he's hired by Harvard Medical School. He is, he's done multiple, multiple papers. He's also a visiting professor at universities in China, South Africa, and Northern Ireland. Okay, so he's got some credentials. I will look into him a little bit more, see what else he's done, um, and his mate Lucas as well. But that's, and in terms of the sources of information, they've had to, there's 136 references that they've algamated together and quoted and based their comments on. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Having understood the credentials of who this paper was written by and who has published this paper, I'm going to have to make this into a two-parter. I want to understand photobiomodulation in its full extent. If it's got the theoretical potential to help all those various things that I've mentioned, I can't wait to see what it does to my skin. Yeah, it's <laughs> so shallow, isn't it? Anyway, thank you for joining me, guys. And again, apologies. I'm hoping now that I'm not working anymore, we'll have a bit more consistency in my videos. I apologize in advance if life happens, because life does happen, doesn't it? Like, it just, you just keep getting thrown curveballs, but thank you for joining me, and thank you for your patience. Subscribe if you wanna keep updated on how it's looking and the science, the science. Next video, I'm going to be going into more detail about this paper and then going through the others as well. Bye! Peace out. Peace out. Peace.